All right, what's up everyone? This is Rance, AKA Darth Lugia, and I just wanted to do a quick video doing my review and kind of final thoughts on the Multiverses uh, closed alpha experience. So I just got back from a wedding, um, not my own. That's why I'm dressed differently than I usually am. Um, but I just couldn't wait. I wanted to make sure I got this uh, video out um, before too much time had passed. Uh, as of making this video, the closed alpha finished off yesterday, I believe. Um, and I just have a few categories, a few uh, topics I want to talk about, kind of go through what, um, what I think about the game, what I'm hoping for that might change before the game actually uh, releases for real. So first off, I want to go over some of the positives, right? So the characters. I think that the roster they have right now is a pretty solid roster. It's definitely going to grow. We already have Iron Giant uh, confirmed. But as far as all the different IPs are taking advantage of, you know, Looney Tunes, um, uh, DC, uh, Adventure Time, Steven Universe, right? I think they're doing a very solid job of having a good variety of characters. Um, Gameplay-wise, they all play very differently, right? These characters are very unique to each other. They share a few similarities with stuff like their downspikes, but their specials, their personality um, are very different from each other. And that's another positive I want to jump into is the personality of these characters. Lots of great um, attention to detail, lots of great quotes, uh, the sounds that they make, the voice acting is all like original or close to original for the maybe one or two cases where that just isn't possible, right? So uh, I think that they did a great job of giving this game a lot of personality, a lot of love and attention. And I think that's huge. That is such an important, uh, important part of it. That's what Smash has done so well in the past. Um, and obviously this is going to be comparable to Smash just because you can't, you can't help but do that. And they have done a fantastic job of giving this game great personality. One other thing that I thought was also pretty, pretty solid was the 2v2. I had heard that the game was marketed as 2v2 and I kind of believed it, but I was like, well, that's just one uh, style. But this is designed specifically with 2v2 in mind. The way the coordination between you and your te uh, teammate works is fantastic. The way the perks interact with each other um, is also great. And then there are a few things more satisfying than hitting a really awesome uh, combo uh, with your teammate. That is so much fun to do. So I think that the 2v2 mode was definitely the mode that had the most fun. Whether I was playing with a friend or playing with a random person online, uh, was easily the way this game is meant to be played. And that's where it's going to excel. Another positive I want to talk about was also the um, casual appeal of this game. So definitely with the personality, the character traits, the uh, unique aspects of each character, that's going to bring in people. But also it's fairly accessible. The tutorials were easy to understand. Even the advanced tutorials were not insanely difficult to get through. Um, you know, I play a lot of other fighting games, so I'm used to some crazy tutorials, crazy you know, combo uh, recipe stuff. And this did not have any of that. Um, still taught you what you needed to know, but didn't bog you down with some of the intense advanced uh, mechanics. So a uh, bunch of positives for this game. And fun factor, I had a great time. Honestly, that's, uh, that's kind of the main, main point is that it's a very, very fun game, uh, really enjoyable. And, you know, I wanted to play it. I wanted to play the alpha almost as much as I could. So that's a great, great sign for the game. Now, as far as a few negatives go, um, and it's an alpha, so obviously these can be changed, these can be adjusted, uh, and they should be. The waiting time between matches, especially between rematches, is simply too long. It, you should be able to rematch and go straight into another game. When you press rematch, you're forced to a character select, and then you have to wait for your teammate to character select. And then you're forced into the perks and you have to wait for all four people to select perks and, and confirm. And then you go into uh, a match, uh, loading for a match after that. Now, this is likely something, there is a ranked mode. I imagine with the ranked mode that the winning team has to stick with their characters because that's how it works in every other fighting game. And the losing team gets the opportunity to switch. But what they should just add, make this simple, a generic rematch button where you press rematch and everyone goes into the game the exact same way they started. Nothing's changed. You do not get to do new perks, 
new uh, ability, um, different characters, right? You just go right into the exact same game. Obviously, maybe they'll change the map up, and that's fine. Like, yeah, you should uh, go on a different map um, for sets. I think that just makes sense for like a Smash-like game. The maps matter quite a bit more. So I think that that should be added. Uh, generic, straight rematch. And then an option for character select. If you want to switch up your style, switch up your strategy, then you can choose character select on the rematch. If not, I just want to play as many games as I possibly can, and it just takes you out of it so much. If you, you know, are waiting for loading times, that is that is just not a great, not a great deal. Um, so yeah, that's one of my, that is probably one of my biggest negatives, my biggest concerns. One other thing I want to talk about briefly was character balance. Again, it's an alpha, so that's what this is meant for, right? Um, but that being said, Velma is ridiculous. <laughs> I think she's very good. Um, and she's experimental, so they're acknowledging that. But I also would say uh, Taz, who's also experimental, is also very good. Both those characters are crazy. Um, and I think that... And Taz was invisible on the screen for me half the time. So, like, come on. Uh, that, that, well, that will get fixed. I'm confident in it. Um, so that's not a huge concern. That is something that I needed to address with this alpha. Only other thing I would say about my general experience is that um, while it was fun, while I was enjoying it a lot, and while the progression I got will pay off better in the full game, I did already get to a point to where I wasn't earning new, exciting things. The battle pass had stuff I hadn't got to, but my individual character, once it reached like 16, there was nothing else to level up. So that was unfortunate because I wanted a new taunt for Finn, right? He only had one unique taunt for him. Uh, I would have loved to get some new taunts, some new skins. I'm sure all of this is going to be added, but that is just something that, as far as the alpha goes, was not there. Okay, so closing thoughts. Multiverses was a blast. I loved playing it. I loved getting in games. Uh, recording uh, was a fun time as well. Have, have, haven't done that for games really before. Um, so that was a great, uh, great experience. I would say that um, teaming up with a buddy feels extra good, obviously, because you can talk to each other. And that when this game does release, if it has the roster it has now, that'll be great. It should be adding characters every month or two, um, definitely adding new skins, adding new stages as well. The, sta the stages are good, but we need more of them. Um, and these are all things that I'm sure are gonna be fixed by the time the game comes out. So overall review of the Multiverses Closed Alpha experience. Great experience. Love the game. Excited for more. I think the longevity is there, especially for a casual audience, though I cannot wait to see what the competitive audience uh, comes up with. So I recommend it. Uh, once the beta comes out, jump on it uh, if you have the opportunity to. And it's free, right? The game's free. Why not give it a shot? Um, and you get to play it. And you get to play it with everyone. It's cross-platform for everything except Switch. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Switch... Switch, unfortunately, is out because they want to keep the rollback. Xbox, PS4, PC, the connection is great. Again, waiting times were a little bit rough. Once I actually was playing, handful of lag issues. But besides that, uh, fantastic connection. So overall, multiverses, highly recommend. Try it out. Okay, and that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.